I will show you 8 human jobs in China that are already assigned to robots. Because of the rise of AI and robotics, we are now entering into a new era of automation and robotics in the world of work and employment. With increasing progress in research and development in the field of AI and robotics, Chinese robots are becoming even more popular nowadays. And that is also because of the country's industrial initiative made in China 2025. It is positioning itself to become an industrial leader, especially in the field of robotics. As a result, many of China's advanced robots are now taking over some blue-collar jobs or even the white-collar ones that are usually done by or assigned to humans, while some other Chinese robots are working alongside humans to help them make the job done efficiently. And today, I will show you 8 human jobs in China that are already assigned to robots. So without further delay, here is the first one, the robot news anchor from China. Hello, everyone. I'm an English artificial intelligence anchor. This is my very first day in Xinguan as agency. My voice and appearance are modeled on Zhang Zhao, a real anchor with Xinhua. The development of the media industry calls for continuous innovation and deep integration with the international advanced technologies. Now if you have dirty office windows located in a skyscraper and you need a cleaner, that could be a job for a window cleaning robot. Now, if you need police assistance for safety and security reasons, then here comes the police robots. China has created robot police officers that are infused with facial recognition technology that help them identify and arrest criminals. They've also stationed the e-patrol robot sheriff at the Zhengzhou East Railway Station in Henan. Hey, don't forget your children. They need teachers to educate them in life. And because of that, here we go with robot teachers that can teach your children. Do not think that robots cannot do banking services because here comes the robot bank lobby manager. This台智能服务机器人呢，它可以取代大堂助理，实现这个迎宾接待、VIP人脸识别、咨询问答。if you are not feeling well right now, 
Maybe you need a doctor. And that's where the robot doctor comes into play. Also in the Capitol at PLA General Hospital, you're looking at four robotic arms performing surgery. Our robots are usually fully booked. On average, I now have two to three robotic surgeries every day. Surgeon Liu Rong, who pioneered the robotic technology at the hospital, performs non-invasive surgery on malignant liver, pancreatic and gallbladder disease. Uh, this is peak care. Peak care is coming to pick up the, the pill boxes for the other people. The other peak care says uh, there is uh, like trash on the on table. Robots have also made their way into dental offices. This one in Xi'an completed a one-hour operation while doctors monitored on the sidelines. Researchers said it operated more accurately than experienced dentists. Concerns do surround this technology. First, the price tag. This system at PLA Hospital cost $2 million, which may not be a feasible option for all hospitals. Are you into some sports? Well, robots can play sports too. So here comes the robots that can play football. It might look like toddlers learning how to walk. But even professional footballers had to start somewhere. To build such a robot that can move and feel requires the installation of many sensors to enable them to tell which direction the football comes in, where the goal is located, its position on the field, as well as to recognize its own team and the rival team. I think you are already hungry and you need someone to serve you with foods. Well, let the robots serve you. So here comes the restaurant robots. This restaurant in Shanghai wants to give its customers a dining experience they can't get anywhere else. They've done away with their waiters and replaced them with robots. Staff costs are getting higher and higher. In Shanghai, a waiter costs more than $1,450 a month. However, the investment in these small carts is a one-time investment, and their efficiency is about the same as that of people, and it saves a lot of money. The robots are roughly the size of microwave ovens. They roll around the dining room on table-high runways. Selecting dishes and placing an order is all done through the app, so it's quite convenient. And thirdly, the robots deliver the food. There are no traditional waiters serving. I think it's quite original. So these advantages make it really convenient and high-tech. I'm pretty sure you have something to say about this video, so don't forget to leave your comment down here. And that's all for now. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. Thanks for watching and see you next time.